some reason. Uh, I was made very happy with a specific moment on Raw last night. That moment was the announcing of Lita as the next inductee in the WWE Hall of Fame. I always enjoyed watching her evolve during her career. After hearing interviews in which she talked about going to Mexico to team with Lucha to learn the lucha style i gained a lot of appreciation for someone uh who has uh who was that dedicated to something she enjoyed so much kudos to the wwe because i am pleased with this uh questions as usual with dustin here since i am talking about lita who would you like to see induct her into the hall of fame outside of matt hardy of course i don't even think that that probably wouldn't be a good idea i think trish yeah I agree. Yeah, I think Trish Stratus is a good choice. They had some of their most famous feuds were against each other. They had great matches, and I think they like retired each other. So, yeah, yeah, I think they did have a last match together, and they really, I mean, and the two of them really, you know, personified that time. Who inducted Trish? Does anybody recall? No. Oh, no, it wasn't like that Muniz chick from uh, Extra. Maria Menudos. Yeah, that one. Was it her? I feel like, I feel like she did one of those. Um, what do you think, Chairman? You know, Trish Stratus, or Trish Stratus, I think would be the pick. God, I hope it's not Matt Hardy. That oh Jesus, you know. <laughs> Ooh, Edge. Uh, Edge would be a good one. <laughs> Edge, who just had a baby with Beth Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. what's that about? <laughs> That's a thing, I apparently. Thought, I thought he was married to somebody else. Or I thought so, too. Um, I, I made the comment, you know, she's from, like, around Buffalo, so that's practically Canadian. Our information's out of date. Uh, right? Who, who's, who Edge is hip deep in. Yeah, yeah. They did not disclose that on the Jericho podcast. So, um, but no, you know, I, I, I you know, I was so excited because I, well, uh, I know, uh, Dutters put, uh, apparently she has the, it just feels right VHS <laughs> and I pulled out my book to match her. And also I found, where did I put that? Where did I put that thing? I just showed you LB. Look at that. Lita lighter. Uh, is it, is it keep, wow. still keeping you warm? Still keeping me warm. Yeah. There you go. So, no, I'm excited for this. And, and I know some people are kind of like, ah, Lita, really? But, and I know it's not like, no, you know, no, some... No, no, no. Eamon is like Lita, really. Everyone else is excited. Uh, yeah, for the most part, yeah. Well, can I just say this? And, and, and whether you like her or whether you dislike her or whatever the case may be, there was never a, a female wrestler in the WWE, WWF, before her that, that wrestled like that. Yeah. You, you know, I, I mean, she completely took it to the next level for that particular Fed. I mean, you know, hipster kind of people are going to stand around and say, oh, well, you know, there are other Lucha women out there in the world. And of course there are. But she was the first one to really bring it to the mainstream, I think. And that, it's like that's a big, huge deal. I mean, huge deal. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. 